Hi there, welcome in. Today, a hug and a slug. I'll explain in a moment. First, a thought. What you think of me is none of my business. I don't know who said it first, but I read it first in a magazine article with Dini Petty many years ago. Well, today, May 24th, I have for you a love letter. No, not to Queen Victoria, although it could be if you had an especially good long weekend. But I did hear about the wicked weather in Ontario and Quebec, and it seems many of you did not have a good weekend. I hope you fared okay. Now, this love letter is to this guy. Michael S. Cooper, self-professed, blonde-haired, blue-eyed Adonis of the airwaves, today turns 70 years old. Now, I'm sure he won't mind me saying that, but I will find out when I see him this weekend, and I can't wait. I was mentioning Mike on social media the past few days because it was something that came up that you're likely to be hearing a lot about, or at least I hope so. It was a piece posted by Jennifer Valentine, our friend, formerly of Breakfast Television, and then all two brief stints on the Derringer Morning Show on Q107, and then Global TV, both at Chorus in Toronto. Jen's story, which is a huge one, is not mine to tell, but it happened to more women than you can imagine at the hands and mouth of this one man. Stories that are coming out now, but have only previously been shared with a therapist or on a tear-stained shoulder. You can find Jen's story at AaronDavis.com or just Google Jennifer Valentine News. And Valentine is spelled T-Y-N-E, not like the hearts. It's a long bit of video by today's short attention span standards, but it really is well worth watching. I admire Jen's courage more than I can possibly say. There's a very good chance she worried this would put a cap on her career as the people who might hire her will label her a troublemaker. It's exactly why I stayed quiet through so many incidents early in my career, and many people still do, because this is still going on. So how does Mike Cooper tie in with all of this? I'm so glad you asked. When the person of whom Jen is speaking came after me relentlessly, cruelly, for years and years on his radio airwaves, I was lucky to be shielded from most of it. Most of his barbs, I never even heard about. Obviously, it was before social media. But I have received a heartfelt apology from a woman who worked with him at the time for not standing up for me. How could she? She needed that job, and that's what bullies always count on. Quick story. In Kelowna last week, I met up with a cousin I hadn't seen in 30 years who lives in the GTA. He listened to Q and asked me, what was going on all those years between me and Derringer? I told him in all honesty I had no idea and couldn't even tell you what he had said. Well, Cliff remembered, and he responded that I was lucky to have been shielded. I guess I took to heart the saying that I started off with. But Mike Cooper heard and heard about those comments, and this guy, he looked up to Cooper. And I don't know if he listened when Mike told him to knock it off. He didn't have to do this and he was better than this, but I've always loved and admired Mike for that. Same as with Ian the General, who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the bullies on-air gang. I sure couldn't defend myself. As a matter of fact, I'm actually very nervous today even telling you about this because his minions will come after me on social media because they count on me not fighting back. Mike is a friend you would want to have, someone who will make you laugh till you pee, and I swear to you there's an elevator in an Orlando hotel near Disney World that will attest to that, I'm afraid. He'll be there when you are at your deepest low and proudly celebrate you when you are at your highest pinnacle. You couldn't wish for a better friend, and I will never get over the gift that working with him for the final happy chapter in my career was to me and to Rob. And here's the best part. We get to spend an entire week with Mike starting this weekend when we host a river cruise together for Alma Waterways along the Rhine. We will pick up where we left off with a great big kiss and a whole bunch of talking. Will we be discussing Jen's revelations and the floodgates they opened? Oh, you know we will, as a lot of people will be too this week. But most of all, I'll be expressing again and again my gratitude for his friendship, his loyalty, his love, and his just being here. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Happy birthday, Mike Cooper. You're not just one of the good ones, you're simply the best.